Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about what are roles, positions, jobs in the Power BI development space, how they are separated from each other, and if you are working in that environment, what are things you need to consider. I have written another article uh, previously with a video about what happens to jobs in the traditional BI team when things move to uh, self-service BI and Power BI with that revolution, how things change and the appearance of the business analyst, the way that BI developer used to work. I strongly uh, suggest you to go and check out that blog article. Link to this blog is down in the description below. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to talk about what are separate roles inside a Power BI development environment. And we start that with the data preparation role. In any BI system, you need someone who uh, is good at uh, building data tables, uh, connecting different sources together, doing some merge, append, all types of like power query transformation, uh, data transformation stuff. This can be like as simple as removing a couple of columns or filtering data, or it can be as complex as uh, writing power query custom functions and uh, writing M scripts. Uh, this person needs to know Power Query uh, skills and also this would be the person who builds data flows, Power BI data flows. You also need someone who is good data modeler. Data modeler is not a DAX developer. It's not also a data engineer. Although uh, most of the time you, you find data modeler is either uh, any of those because the data modeler task by itself might not be a big task for one person full time job. Data modeler is a person who understand the modeling principles of star schema, fact table, dimension tables, based on the requirement, design a conceptual model of tables and their relationships on a paper with pen. And then that model later on would be filled with the ETL process that data engineer builds and uh, DAX expressions that the DAX developer writes would be on top of that. You also need a DAX developer. Um, you might spend a lot of time and doing a lot of calculations as a pre-calculation in, uh, inside your data model in the ETL process, but still some calculations are better to be done in DAX because of their dynamic nature, some um, measures that you can write in DAX. You need someone who is good at writing DAX expressions. DAX expressions can be tricky sometimes, so you need someone who with good understanding of that. This person also need to have good understanding of the data model and the way that relationships works together. Uh, this person, if they if doesn't know anything about Power Query, that's absolutely fine because the environment that this person works with is mainly like writing DAX expressions and uh, should be a person who is comfortable writing those expressions. You also need a report visualizer. Visualization is, mm, is an area that not many people spend time on it, but in fact, this is the front end of your BI system. You need... Uh, some good visualization, something that drives uh, good decisions and help decision makers straight away to make proper decisions based on those visualizations. You need people with good storytelling skills, with um, some UX uh, design experience, with understanding graphics, colors, and things like that to go and build visualizations. If you are thinking of having like some predictive analytics, descriptive analytics, something of a data science, but not a deep data science thing, you need to have an applied data scientist. Applied data scientist is a person who doesn't really go and write alg algorithm or change an algorithm, uh, but merely just use some of the existing AI functions inside Power BI, uh, such as decomposition three, uh, three and some, some other features like that. You might also take one step uh, further and have a data scientist in your team if you really 
thinking serious about data scientist and data scientist itself is a quite a big job it's it's a job that a person should have a wide range of skills and quite deep in some of the areas to be able to work um, and dig into your data find the patterns define algorithms that work with those, those patterns practice different algorithms change the variables and get a good result you might have someone like that in your team as well um, you can't expect your DAX developer or Power Query developer, report visualizers, or even data scientists to go and set up the gateway, set the administration process for that, set up the tenant admin configuration and things like that. Usually you need a Power BI admin to go and set up all of these configurations, which is another role in this uh, set of roles and uh, to have everything working in a good harmony you always need to have an architect now similar to data modeler architect uh, architect is not a full-time job in many um, many organizations because this is only usually an advice so architect can be like an external architect like a consultant like what i do is mostly like giving people a lot of architecture advice or data modeling advice and or things like that you can have it internal or external this is a person who is familiar with almost every power bi component and even some components outside of power bi space can build an architecture that everything works together this is a person who decide about using data flows shared um, data set and a lot of other things like type of connections to use and everything um, built based on that framework now you might say why not one person doing all of these why shouldn't be one person who does everything well the thing is that you can't really do all of these in a deep level in a base best possible ways if you really think you can do that please contact me i'm hiring um it's always best to split tasks because that way you can have people focusing on their skill set like someone who is really good at ux design and visualization focus on that side someone who is good at writing expressions in dax focuses on that side that way you get best outcome also you can have multiple people working at the same time uh, through the entire process if you have like one person doing everything then whenever you want to change that person let's say that person for some reason left your team and you want to uh, replace that position you need to work hard to find someone with that uh, skills but if it is like one person with one particular skills it's an easier job to find it and it's everything much uh, organized uh, much better organized if you wonder how would you know that what skills you require for each of these roles i have uh, published another article explaining um, a, a set of like questionnaire that you can take as a self assessment to see do you have enough ro enough skill set in uh, in any of these roles that you are thinking bottom line uh, power bi development is not job of a single person especially if you are looking at enterprise level you need to have multiple skill sets multiple roles multiple positions if you like this video go ahead and subscribe into our youtube channel we have weekly videos of power bi and ai